Drawing takes practice like hockey or golf And you don't even have a pickleball court in your house, so Keep on drawing, details are good Fill the page, you knew you could Keep on drawing, whatever you please A goat in a canoe or a dad in a tree One line leads to another, so just draw, draw, draw I do have gun. Yeah, he has gun. <laughs> All right, welcome to today's drawing club. What we're gonna do today is we are gonna work on a um, we're gonna do a color wheel pizza. So you might be like, I know the color wheel. This seems beyond me, but it's not. All these color wheel is a fun place to start. Okay. Uh, and we have been inspired. Melvin earlier said we should make a worm pizza. So we're gonna make we're gonna make a pizza today. So everybody get a gray or a black and a nice piece of paper. And we're gonna start by drawing a big circle. I think I might need a black. Can you go grab me a sharpie? Okay, never mind. Let's do a black. Can you see that? I'm gonna draw a big. I said circle, but thank you. Love. I'm using an oval because ovals are fill up my sheet. And then I do another circle on the inside. There, I have made my crust. Now, Mel, do you want to tell us we what what kind of pizzas are we making? Worm pizzas. We're going to assume that this pizza is for a frog. Um, it's okay if you want to put other things on your pizza. You could make a realistic one. Or you could make one for... Who else? Who else could have a special pizza? I don't know. You could make a candy pizza. But we're going to make one for a worm. So, here Mel, grab this. And you help me draw, we're gonna draw bugs on this pizza. So I'm gonna start with a worm. And of course we're gonna add little faces. I'm gonna do a bunch of worms. And I'm giving them smiley faces because why not? Mm. What a, wait, you know what? I don't even know if worm, frogs eat worms. Maybe this is a bird pizza. A bird can eat it? Oh, hi, Frank. How you doing, bud? What's this smell? I'm gonna take this hat off so we can see. Yeah, okay, this is a pizza for a bird. Anybody been bird watching? We saw a blue jay. Okay, what, uh... What can we do to give some variety to these worms? We can put them in different. We can put them in different hats, like we did the other day. Here's a top hat, party hat. Oh, what's that? It's so cute, Mel. Uh, this one's a cowboy. Bringing it back to the hats. What other hats? Uh, oh, a newsboy. Ooh, what are those like reggae hats? Yeah, and then a jester hat. Okay, so this is our worm section. Take the worm stick on its tongue. Stick down its tongue. And then we probably need some flies. Ooh, ooh. Now, and we probably need some 
These are some oversized horse flies. The trick to a fly is those two next, eyeballs on the front. And next to a, and next to a centipede. Bow ties. Thank you, Carissa. Yes. Centipede. Let's do centipedes. Yes, bow ties. Uh, I'm gonna make this fly over here have a bow tie. Yeah. That's a funny face. Is it? Flies are pretty funny. Are you gonna do a centipede down here? So Mel has gotten really into drawing. Uh, like just suddenly really, really into drawing, so I think that drawing with him has really helped him open up. So Consider drawing with your kids. Even if you don't consider yourself a good drawer, I think it's a great activity and our kids just need extra connection right now, I think, because they're not getting to see grandmas and grandpas and all those people and that. I think that um, even if they don't talk about it, I think I think it's really bumming him out. But he's doing a good job of staying posy and I'm just trying to play with him more, so. This is just my observations. I'm obviously not a professional. Um, whoa. Is that like a thousand legs? Uh, let's do a spider or an ant. So an ant has three. That's a happy ant. And this ant just got married to this ant. Congratulations! They're going to go on their honeymoon to a different hill. Quite the exciting event. And a bow tie, and we'll give him a top hat so we know that it's formal. Okay. Marriage! Um, any more bugs we should add, or should we get to the coloring? Busy. He's very busy. Uh, anybody have any ideas for more bugs? I'm feeling like at a loss about bugs. Um, grasshopper. Grasshopper. Butterfly. Okay, butterfly, grasshopper. Thank you. I should have made a list before. Oh, that is a cute centipede. Let's all take a moment to look at that centipede there. He's very cute. A bangy tangy wangy. Okay. Okay, I think maybe I can draw a grasshopper. Okay, I think we do the same. I'm gonna do, they have these legs like that, right? This is a situation where a photograph might help. Uh, or a hat. He is going to a birthday party. I think they have like antennas, yeah. And a grub, let's do a grub. Grubs are so gross and cute. And when you touch them, they go. And here is our grub. Uh, and this grub, let's put a little bow tie in. Okay, so our pizza is fit for a bird. Now what we're going to do... Now we have to do more. Um, oh, glasses. Thank you. Glasses is a great idea. This cowboy worm has cat eye glasses. And this birthday party one is actually wearing some beatnik shades. Oh, we didn't do a, a beret yet. Let's do... Yeah, let's just do a beetle. My mom's referencing a beetle, and I'm not sure. Oh, what about a ladybug? Here we go. And this is a hip ladybug wearing a beret. Ooh la la. Okay. Look at those details, my dude. It's called Manny Handy Glasses. Manny Handy Glasses? Love them. I'm going to turn this into some weird worm. Okay, so what you're going to do um, when you're done with your uh, 
topping is you're gonna draw a line straight across. You're gonna, we're gonna cut this pizza in half, okay? And then we're gonna go about a third of the way here and make a mark, and a third of the way here and make a mark. Right about me. And we're gonna slice our pizza right here. So, mango. Wait, wait. And then halfway between there and there, you're gonna make another mark and another mark. And so, Mel, you gotta go. The, the trick is here, move over to the side a little bit. Can I show you? The trick is you wanna connect these lines and connect here through this X. No big deal, but if you really want it to look like a sliced pizza, okay. that's the best way to do it. Okay, so your first goal is to meet up right there. Perfect. Now go up to here. And our pizza, let's show them our pizza real quick. Here is our pizza. Yummy, yummy, yummy. <laughs> so we're going to Yeah, make... you better come see our pizza. Yeah, Dad, you better come see our pizza. Whoa. It has a grill on it. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a grub, and that's where it is the birds. <laughs> oh, All to eat. Birds are gonna be so excited. Okay, now we're gonna we're gonna color each one of these a different color. We're gonna turn this into a bird pizza color wheel. So Bye. Bye. Thanks for watching.